Hello everybody. We are in southern Missouri, just west of uh, Branson. What brings us up here, you might ask? Well, we're looking for land to purchase. But before we get into that, let me give you a backstory of how we got here. So, we live in Phoenix, Arizona. As you all may know, Phoenix, Arizona is very hot. We're tired of the big city. We're tired of the desert. Neither Misty nor I knew very much about the other 49 states. So, we decided to travel. We decided to RV and check out all the states. Well, we've been to 90% of them and we've narrowed it down to a few states. So, which leads us to where we're at now. We've been looking at properties, or we just started looking at properties, but we're looking at properties in southern Missouri, western Kentucky, western Tennessee, um, Georgia. We really like Georgia a lot, but we are looking for 20 acres with a house or without a house it doesn't really matter we're all pretty it's pretty early in the the whole situation right now so we are willing to buy just land clear it what we want cleared and build a house I'm pretty handy I think I am but um, thinking about either like a barn doe or maybe we're lucky and find a property that has a house that maybe needs a little bit of fixing upping prices nowadays for land and a house is absolutely crazy so it's probably going to be raw land and then buying a barn doe and having someone do the framing to it and then me doing everything else as much as I can. We'll be glad to see you guys following along and maybe you can learn from our mistakes and learn something on the process. Maybe you guys are looking to do the same. Maybe we can show some insight on all that. Did traveling all the states make it easier to pick a state? No, not at all. Made it harder. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we have one guy over here behind us. But other than that, we are pretty much alone. And that was another thing. Me and Misty were just tired of having our neighbors so close to us. I mean, good neighbors are hard to, hard to find nowadays. Um, like-minded neighbors we do have a, a grandkid now and we'd love him to be able to go outside and just play and not have to worry about is he gonna get ran over by a car is he someone gonna take him or something like that you know this 
great world that we live in nowadays. You know, it's not like back in the olden days where you can tell your kids to get out of the house and go play and, you know, just make sure you're back before the street lights come on. You was all right. <laughs> if any of you guys have already bought in land and you have any suggestions or things to watch out for or questions to ask, um, let me know. Put them in the comments so I can read them and just be that much more ahead of the game. That would be awesome. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you want to follow along. We'll be showing um, we'll be showing some of the properties that we see. Maybe showing some uh, what we decide on how we're going to purchase the property. If it's going to be just purchased outright, if we're going to do a loan. Um, We'll share everything that we learn. Thanks for watching.